Hi, my name is Antoine Luca, student number 19271910. Hi, my name is Lang Yu, my number is 19497192. Uh, my name is Tian Yu, Fu, my number is uh, 19194282. Our main overarching research question is how does the implementation of ICT impact on the learning of low SES students? Uh, the subtopic questions or the sub questions are how does the implementation of ICT affect the low SES students academic learning progression in mathematics? How do mathematics teachers perceive the effectiveness of integrating ICT in teaching for low SES students? What are the effects of using ICT in enhancing literacy skills of low SES students? These three questions have been used in combination to answer the overarching question and consent has been established uh, from prior to commencing any interviews or any surveys undertaken. Well, although we focused on different areas, current studies in general have shown the positive correlation between the use of ICT and students' academic performance. In other words, the use of ICT as in enhancing students' learning and understanding. In mathematics, a few studies with small size samples have shown the use of ICT improves students' conceptual understanding and problem-solving skills, and also activates working memory when they study math. Similarly, in terms of literacy, um, Researchers have found that students can concentrate more on learning and thus develop higher level of understandings in the classroom. Well, however, the effectiveness of ICT in teaching hasn't been verified in students from low SES backgrounds as their contexts are largely different from the mainstream students. One major concern is the access to ICT resources as many students from low SES backgrounds find ICT resources unavailable. Schools from low SES areas do not have sufficient ICT resources to meet their actual needs, while students do not have access to ICT at home as well. In this case, it is hard to guarantee that teachers can use appropriate and effective ICT materials to help with their teaching, which will constrain the effectiveness of ICT. The other constraint is the use of ICT. Although the purpose of introducing ICT to classroom is for studying and learning, it is challenging to ensure every teacher is prepared for using ICT and every student will use it for learning purpose. According to Marx, the effective incorporation of ICT in teaching literacy requires teachers have pedagogic knowledge and sophisticated ICT skills. It is more than presenting slides or playing videos. In the meantime, research has shown that students from low SES backgrounds are more likely to use ICT for entertainment rather than studying. So we realize there are actually two points still unaddressed in the current literature review how students from low SES backgrounds use ICT in the classroom and whether they can be benefited from ICT as other students. Therefore, our group attempts to investigate the effectiveness of ICT in teaching students from low SES backgrounds. Our data has been collected through two major methods. One is survey, the other is interview. So during the data analysis, uh, process we have been used both quantitative and qualitative method to analyze our data collected. So for Lance's interview, she's focusing on how do mathematics teachers per perceive the effectiveness of integrating ICT in teaching for low SES students. This one has been done through survey. 11 questions has been put on the survey and asked for those participants. For interviews, we have Tony and me we focus on different perspectives. Uh, one is how does the implementation of ICT affect low SES students academic learning progression in mathematics? And the other one is what are the effects of using ICT in enhancing the literacy skills of low SES students? So um, let's go through the first qualitative uh, data analysis part. We have been using um, 
graph charts and a bar chart here to show the results from Lance's uh, survey. So uh, the findings we posted here together and we colored those like similar findings um, overlapped uh, for all of our three research. The first finding in this survey is more teachers are integrating ICT in teaching, which has been also mentioned in other interviews. Like uh, we have more young teachers who prefer to use ICT in their teaching every day. And the second finding in Lance survey is measure, uh, measurement and the geometry, statistics and the probability and the number and Algebra are the top three topics where ICT are frequently used in mathematics teaching. Uh, it, also has, uh, it also has been observed that some students are using ICT for other purposes rather than learning, and they could be distracted by technology issues as well. Also, ICT brings two benefits which are improving the enjoyment of learning and the participation in activities. And most teachers participants tend to agree that ICT is very important in their classrooms. Uh, talking about the qualitative data analysis, first we code everything we got through uh, different questions. Tony's interview covered 10 questions. My interview covered 11 questions, focusing on different teaching area. One is mathematics, the other is literacy learning. So uh, we have color coding all the common findings here. So for um, the beneficial part of ICT implement implementation is um, it benefits the development of students' literacy skill first, and it also uh, for testing and knowledge retention, it has very a positive effect. Also the participation and engagement has been mentioned in Lance survey as well. And we also provide learning progression visualizations through ICT using in the learning and the teaching. Uh, on the other hand, the interviews has also revealed that we have several uh, concerns of using ICT. Uh, from different perspectives like for uh, literacy skills and as well as like mathematics learning. So the issues and the difficulties facing by the teachers and the students have been mentioned in the interview which uh, aroused our attention as well. Uh, we also have found out that disadvantages faced by the low ICT students in using ICT are very evident. Um, so some of the teachers are, are very confident of using ICT, but their elder peers, like who have been teaching for several years and haven't encountered ICT using in the past, may have less confidence in using ICT. But students, on the other hand, since they are the generation of technology, they are very confident in using ICT for learning. Uh, after the coding, we categorized our findings and put them into sentences for both of, of our interviews. So, uh, something haven't been mentioned before, like ICT provides students with an alternative technique of students' engagement and the in incorporating ICT within a mathematical, uh, mathematics classroom allows students to learn within a positive environment, allowing students who are influenced by their negative surrounding environments, especially for those low access students, to be further engaged within the content being delivered. We also mentioned that, we also found that uh, teachers are getting support from their families, friends, and colleagues in sharpening their ICT skills, and very less school provide specific ICT trainings for teachers, which has aroused their confidence in using ICT, especially those new programs. And some unexpected technical issues draw back the benefits of ICT-based teaching and learning because it delays teaching uh, plans and the students can be easily distracted by those issues. So after, uh, after the data analysis, we synthesized our findings into points. The first one is ICT integration are frequently implemented in teaching and learning. Second one, 
most students and young teachers have been identified as having strong capability in using ICT, whereas low IC students and elder teachers are not as confident as their peers. Uh, the third one, we found out that ICT integration enhances students' interactive enjoyment, tasks, engagement, frequency of communication, improved visualization, con conceptual understanding, peer team collaboration, and the teacher feedback. Uh, we also found ICT integration also brings concerns and issues like students' instruction of task behaviors and the teaching plans delays due to unexpected technology issues, etc. Et and the last finding would be uh, comparing to the peers, low ICT students may have more difficulties in accessing to those ICT devices, as well as like using ICT resources to complete their learning tasks. Also, like we have um, conducted our research in low SES areas, uh, specifically uh, in three schools. So a lot of schools have not enough SET devices available for both teachers and the students. This has been another uh, difficulty facing by the school. Next, I will hand, hand over to Tony to talk about our recommendations for the future. Some recommendations within a classroom. ICT can be used as a pre and post testing tool of students' knowledge to understand the students' progression. Integration of ICT in a classroom environment may be monitored to provide minimal distractions for student learning. Increasing the accessibility of ICT in lower SES schools may provide students the option of differential learning which may aid in their understanding of topics. Integrating ICT within classroom settings to allow students a deeper understanding of concepts that are difficult to comprehend. Integrating ICT when uh, necessary and beneficial to students' learning to enhance the productivity of students' understanding in various content. And of course, for future research, uh, future research needs to be undertaken on the effects of ICT and how they affect lower SES students' learning. And this is the reference list. There are 13 references present. Thank you.